Hello everyone and welcome to Spider Rider Extra. Today we're going to do it. We're going to actually install the um, Domeo Mot Moto Pro. I bought this right from Domeo itself. Got it on special for about $311. Um, they were running at like a 35% off pandemic special. I looked at many reviews for this product. A lot of reviews said, oh, it's junk. Other reviews said... Um, pretty good product so you know I thought I'd give it a shot. I already did the unboxing on a previous video. Today we're gonna start with the installation. All right we're gonna install it on my Bell helmet. Now one of the recommendations is, is if you're you have a loud muffler or stall, installed on the opposite side as, as your muffler. My muffler's on the right side of my bike. Of course it's a sinister muffler also in one of my videos. Um, so I'm going to install the headset on the left side. Now they say for the different sounds, if you put it at the top, your sounds are going to be more rich. Put it in the back, you're going to have more bass. But in a side, it's supposed to be better for like communicating and it's clearer. So this is the Motor Pro, which is an audio and a communicator. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with the side. Try to find the uh, flattest area. I'm guessing it's about right here. And to show you the actual headset, they also say since this is made aerodynamically, that it should go this direction. If you put on top, it should be like that. But you see, um, you can actually see from that angle how it doesn't sit correctly. This bottom has like a little, it's almost like a speaker. It needs to be flat to the uh, helmet. So I just kind of moved it around, tried to find the best place. And like I said, since I'm going to put it on the side, I think my best place is probably about right here. So that's actually where I'm going to install it. All right, so the first thing you do, I'm going to clear off, clean off the area. I'm going to use some alcohol wipes. We'll let that dry a few. This is the actual adapter or headset holder. As you can see in the back, it says stick mount on the helmet. 30 minutes before inserting Domeo. Now they say it's even better if you can wait 24 hours or longer, but at least 30 minutes. As you can see, it has 3M tape. Once it goes down, it does not come off. Okay, the best mounting place, like I said, for me is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it down. Make sure it's, my visor's clear it is. It's actually, if it's perfect there, press firmly for like 15 seconds. All right, now basically you just set your helmet aside. And like I said, you wait 30 minutes, up to 24 hours or longer. The longer the better, and this thing will not budge once it sets. All right, the next part we're gonna install the uh, communicator mic. All right, next we're gonna install the pro mic. You can see it's inside of my helmet. You got the chin guard here. They say either left or right, don't put it in the middle because you'll be breathing on it and it'll distort the sound. So I'm gonna go to the left-hand side. Also make sure it's within no closer than one half inch to any padding. So we're gonna put it in here somewhere. With the pointy end up. I think that should do it. We're just gonna hold it down again for like, I'm gonna hold this for about 30 seconds. Then it also has to cure for at least 30 minutes, up to a day. Talk a little bit about the um, 
Domeo. Like I said, uh, it was a startup company just a couple years back. And I looked and did a lot of research, had some bad reviews. And I mean, so far I don't see it. It appears to be a high quality product. I mean, it's in good. Uh, I mean, the boxing and everything, the instructions, everything's good. Looks like a good piece of equipment. People were complaining about shipping, how long it took. It took mine like three to four days. All right, we're going to let that sit in there. And our next step after I make sure everything's installed and we put everything together and I actually put the uh, Domeo in the mount, we're going to try it out. All right, we have the Domeo Moto Pro installed now. I let that set overnight. It's very secure. It has two little clamps on the side here. You just press them down and slides right out just like that. And just slides right back in. It's a very secure. So to operate this, you have a few functions here. It's not complicated at all. Actually, you have your power button, your volume up and down. The volume up and down buttons also act as... Uh, skip ahead like if you hold this uh, top one for two seconds it'll skip ahead hold the bottom one for two seconds it'll skip back and replay the last song also if you hold these two together at the same time you'll be able to pair it to a new device but this this uh, system will actually pair it to your phone automatically which is very nice so i'll go ahead and turn it on this just turns on the system battery high and it tells you actually the battery, that the battery's high. Uh, and as you can see, the music came on. As you can see, the music uh, comes right on because I already had my uh, music app running. Um, it'll tell you if your battery's high, medium, or low when you turn it on. And the blue light means everything's working fine. Okay, and as you can tell, you, a lot of complaints about this system were that you can hear the music outside your helmet. Well, I've never had one that you could not, so I don't even understand that complaint. Uh, if you have stereo speakers on your bike, everybody hears it. I mean, I've had Cardo and had seen us, and they all do the same thing. And of course, this one has no headphones, no wires, so I'm going to actually let you guys hear this. I'm going to put the helmet on you. All right, now I'm going to let you listen to the music. I have it. Um, I have another phone I'm using the Bluetooth to the uh, Domeo, and I'm recording with another uh, camera. So I'm going to actually put the helmet over the camera so you can hear the sound. We'll start turning it up here first. As you can see, I just turn it down. Totally off, now I'm gonna turn it back up. Okay, I turned it off now. That's just a short demonstration of the sound. Because I've seen Many websites that say, oh, the sound's not great or whatever, and I think it does exactly how or as advertised. Good sound, good bass, high, good highs and lows. I mean, it's a pretty good system. Um, I'm going to do another video in the future to review it also about the communication part of it because you're supposed to be able to communicate through Bluetooth to other people's phones, call them, etc. So that'll be my next video. All right, thanks for joining me at Spider Rider, and I'll see you next time.